completely off base, but a wooden stake through the heart. Isn't that the way they kill vampires? Oh, <laughs> the sheriff don't look now, but your bubble's a little off plumb. Doc, I meant in the movies. I didn't say that I believe in that stuff. On the other hand, it sure looks like somebody does. As a matter of fact... What is it, Sheriff? I checked out the cemetery this afternoon in the Borby grave. Not only was somebody tampering with it, but I found this. A bulb of garlic. So? Doc, didn't you see any of those movies? I had better things to do with my youth. All right, well, then forget the movies. My grandmother used to tell me that back in the old country, people used to put garlic on graves to keep the vampires from rising. Uh-huh. It runs in the family. Now, just a second. My grandmother happened to have been a nice woman. Sure. Garlic is excellent for roses. It improves the fragrance, and it also helps to control the aphids. Oh, yeah? Well, I didn't see any roses growing out of that old grave. Uh, in any case, it may interest you to know that you're vampire was hit on the head prior to his assailant driving that stake through his heart. Doc, there's nothing in the rules that says that vamp those people can't be knocked out. Rules? Oh, heaven help us. Why do I even bother? Ah, uh, Mr. Yadich, did anybody see you pulling the car in the garage after you dropped Mr. Baker off at the door? Not that I know of. You don't really seem too torn up about this. I wasn't especially fond of Mr. Baker. Any idea how the murderer got in? The side door was open when I came in from the garage and found Mr. Baker. 